Hey guys, this is Plurps here, and today I'm doing another Minecraft command block tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'm doing the slash effect command. For slash effect command, it's simple like the other ones, so it's basically slash effect at P, which is the player. So here's at P for nearest player, uh, at R for random player, and at A for target everyone. Uh, if you want to place on a certain person, you could do that too, it's perfectly fine. But uh, to show you here, it's slash effect, which is basically what it is. Uh, at P, uh, the person. One, which is the type. So for here, it's speed. Uh, Ten, which is how long it lasts. And one is the amplifier. So if it's two, you're going to be faster. If you're three, you're going to be faster. It's going to be greater the higher the number is. So to show it off first, slash effect one, which is speed. Uh, basically it makes me a lot faster, you know, faster than normal. It could be good for parkour maps and a lot of other maps. Uh, and for all these 20, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to show you, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to say every single number. So if you want to know what, uh, uh, what number is what, you could check in the description below. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to watching on my other videos. So the second one is for slowness and it's basically a counter part with uh, speed or it could just make you slower when you're in certain places. Next is haste uh, which is for mining. Uh, at first I didn't know what this was so I started doing this and let's go back to game of zero and as you can see uh, my normal speed right here for mining is actually pretty slow, so with haste, nice and quick. Uh, and for my next one is uh, mining fatigue, which basically just makes me slower uh, at mining. So as you can see, it takes a lot more time to break this one block. Uh, next off is strength. So for strength, as you see here, it basically makes me stronger when I fight mobs. So, uh, let's see. I'll kill it with a fist. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight hits, I guess. Uh, now let's do it with strength. So, we'll do strength here. And one. See, a simple three hits will basically kill it. It's really useful. And next is instant health. As you can see here, it basically heals my whole health bar. Uh, but when you do instant damage here and instant health, I'm guessing they both do six hearts of uh, six hearts of regeneration and uh, losing uh, when it's amplifier one. So if you want to kill them straight off the bat. You could just uh, make the amplifier like pretty high for instant damage, or if you want them to be for sure full health, just add the instant health to like amplifier also 10. And next is jump boost, uh, which is the eighth one, and this is good for a lot of parkour maps. Uh, nice and useful here. You could make some two block jumps, uh, unlike the normal one block jump as you see here. And next off is nausea, which makes it really wavy over here. And it's uh, it could be annoying, but you could use this for like some bar drunk maps. It could be pretty useful. And next up is regeneration, which I will use instant damage on myself first. So instead of having them heal right away, you could just have them have regeneration, and they'll slowly gain back their heart. It's, uh, it's like uh, the healing is like the times when you eat the golden apples. Uh, when you see here, there's regeneration, and uh, next is resistance. Uh, I'll press this button, but basically it just helps me so that I won't be really that much damage as much. Uh, it's useful if you want some person to be really OP. You can just add that in along with other resistance and protection. And next off is fire resistance. So let's do fire resistance. And oh, wait. Fire resistance, basically, uh, if the guy's going on fire. Uh, as you can see, when I'm on fire, I don't lose any extra hearts. Uh, 
It's just basically the hearts that the zombies damaging me. Uh, next off is water breathing, which will be useful when I go underwater. As you see, the bubbles don't pop. And let's wait for four, three, two, one. And now, as you see, the bubbles will start popping. Uh, it's useful if you want to do some underwater adventure map. Not even adventure map if you don't want to, but it could be quite useful once in a while. Next is invisibility. So first off, I need to take off my armor. And uh, when I do invisibility, you can't see me. Quite invisible. Uh, you can use this if you want to prank people. Anything you want. And next off is blindness. And since it's day, you don't really see much of a difference. But you could put it in a dark room and you won't be see able to see anything. Next is hunger, which basically will eat up my hunger pretty fast uh, if I move a lot. So let's see if I jump around. As you can see, oh, as you can see, hunger is supposed to break down a lot faster. So let's do some instant damage on me. As you can see, hunger quickly fades away. Uh, it could be useful if you want to have some zombie apocalypse thingy have them all have low hunger and next is weakness which is like uh, the opposite of uh, resistance which basically makes me weak crit damage so let's put some uh, as you can see I'm getting damage probably looks the same because of all my armor but uh, it, it could make someone less uh, powerful. Uh, let's give myself some instant health. And next is uh, next is poison, which could bring you down a lot of hearts, uh, but it could not kill you. That's a key thing. Uh, you could see these when you're killing uh, when you're killing witches. It could be pretty. Uh, deadly because witches could do instant damage on you and next is uh, next is wither which could kill you but basically as you can see your hearts all black and you're dying basically fast they're like the wither in the nether so that's basically it uh, hope that you like the video check the description below if you wanna see the list of everything and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.